We've done it. We finally have applied energistics. We have digital storage. It lets us access all the good stuff, anything that's in our storage controller, our armory cabinets, anything that's inside of these digital discs. And we are able to get rid of all the chests back here in the back and replace them with drawers so that we can put some more, uh, more items there that we may end up with a lot of. So sit back, enjoy the episode, and let's get ready. Let's play. Hello everybody, Elderberry Syrup here and welcome back to a episode of our Let's Play series for Season 5 where we are playing FTB University 119. Today we've got a couple things to get ready to get going and uh, Create has a clipboard and we're going to use it for the first time. So we're going to go, we're going to find somewhere right quick. We're going to start on some RF tools first and foremost. So the reason I don't want to be at my base is because in case things go horribly wrong. Um, so let's grab us a crafting table right quick. We are going to turn that into a crafting station. And next to that, we are going to place this wooden storage box. And from here, we are going to create our technology guide, which is going to unlock RF tools for us, which will complete a few things that we've already completed. So let me go ahead and hit this just in case we got anything cool for it. All right. Uh, I'm not going to use this technology guide right now because I know exactly where we're going. But if you've never used RF tools, please look at this guide. Um, but remember, this is FTV University, so there will be things like Shield School, okay? And, of course, following the quest is always, always recommended for uh, when you're first beginning out. First thing that we're going to build is a Shield Projector. We're going to build a Tier 3 Shield Projector um, because it can hold more power and can support more blocks we have shield templates you these are very simple to make uh, of course we're using red once again because of the roses that we have but at reef uh, rf tools shield it's very simple it's just some wool dye and any glass so we have those. Oh, it's gonna, is it giving us more stuff? How about that? Uh, it gave us a lapis shield for that. All right, so we're gonna set this shield projector down. Um, actually, let's just we'll just put it above ground like this, and place these outwards a little ways because withers do have a blast radius as we all know and this shield is going to be meant to pre prevent withers from escaping so that we can and it will automatically kill them all right so if i were to build uh that's not even that was not or odd, which would make it even. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, if I were to build the wither right here, one, two, three, and like that, that would mean we have enough on this side. I do want to build one above its head. So we'll go around like this. And we're going to, I'll break those. Uh, wait, I said one above its head. But what I mean is like, I want a gap there. So we'll go like that. Right. So I'm gonna finish building this cube in. Oh, 
All right, so we have our cube built. Finish up those last two right there. And we're gonna come over here and we are going to build a wrench. It does a smart wrench. Make sure that doesn't give us any, nope, All right. We're gonna add our flux point because we know that we have power. We have lots of power and I'm gonna use the power in for this just because we don't have a massive storage on our power out just yet. But this does need uh, power and we don't want it to run out. So first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to say solid damage hostile add and then we're going to say pass items add and pass player add and then we're going to test that oh so right now it yes so we can walk through it oh we missed one right there so let's place one right there right quick we can walk through it However, the anything that's hostile will be solid and it should damage them. So we do have to hit it with that wrench again. And what we can do if we wanted is if we wanted it to look like dirt blocks, we can make it look like dirt blocks. If we selected mimic like that, It'll mimic dirt plots. We can still move through it. If we want it to be transparent or solid, so it's a solid color. Oh, that looks like an infinity room uh, with the exception of you can highlight the blocks. That's pretty cool. Uh, we are gonna go with transparent or just shield so that we can see what's going on here. So while we wait for the rain to stop, uh, RF tool start and shield. Next up is going to be our wither up, our wither, wither stars. And the manual for now is just talking about placing the blocks. Eventually we will have it fully automated and not have to touch it at all. All right, so we're back over here. Let's grab our skulls and stone. Oh, the skulls, yes. So there was definitely some upgrading. I did a bunch of searching with our sword here, capturing three to get us a wither skull egg. Um, I need one block to be like solid to me here. Can we turn this off for now? Uh, that's not going to work, is it? Um... So... Essentially, I'm going to have to get the skulls on there. Oh, I didn't mean to put that last one and hit this with the wrench. Oh, my goodness. That was so close. I hope he didn't fall through. Don't blow up. There we go. There we go. And he is being destroyed. All right. Woo. Oh, man. You see any things up around the base and we have our nether star now I just need to do that three more times
have, well, we will have four stars. Exactly what we needed. As you can see, there's a couple of zombie pigmen running around here. And that, I, that is because they are somehow spawning outside of where they are supposed to. I don't know how. But that doesn't really matter. What matters is we went and we got us some zombie pigmen. And we also got us wither. Uh, that's Blaze. Blaze is turned off right now. So this is the zombie piglin. And this is the wither skeletons. And they are upgraded with... After we got the zombie piglin, we ended up with enough gold that we were able to make enough clocks to upgrade those to where they are just spawning at an incredible rate. A lot of connections to make sure that this stuff is being put into the system fast enough. And we have this, we made sure that these things were on the blacklist, but the way this is working is our export here our, I mean, our import here just imports those things. So anything that is coming in that should not be goes directly into there. Everything else is going into our ender drawer. So now that will continue to run whether we are nearby or not, which is the whole purpose of that. So we got our wither stars and our spawner upgrade so our gold we have an obscene amount of gold now all right now that that is done i want to make sure this clipboard and smart wrench get saved there and not sorted out with everything else and it is time to start ae2 so we're going to follow the guide on this uh at least a bit and the very first thing it wants us to do is make a charger so let's get that made right quick request the charger charger has been made and that gives us a wooden crank that's to power up the charger i guess we'll also need a compass so we need to make or a meteor compass just to keep the quest continuing to unlock so we're going to place this charger down right here for now because we're not going to hand crank anything we already have power and it accepts it from there so we'll put this compass in here and it turned into a meteor compass and it points to the nearest meteor from there, it is time for quartz. We've all seen the meteors while I was out exploring. I didn't really do much with them, like one right there. But I went out exploring to all the meteors that we found, plus a few more in search of the Certus stuff. So you've got the flawed, uh, the flawed budding Certus. Let me request all these chipped. You got different levels and then there's course blocks. There's also dust and some buds that did not finish or that it were silk touched. And we don't really need those uh, except to bust with a non silk touch to get the dust. Now the Cirrus Quartz blocks that we found, we're going to go ahead and get us Cirrus Quartz Crystals. The budding crystals are found inside of those meteors as well. But here's the thing, you can also find Flawless. Now I didn't realize that they couldn't be mined and you know, I, I, I went about my time. But I went ahead and I read the quest like it says right here. You know, you should read these things. This part right here was especially useful. Mining budding service quartz decays it fully, but silk touch only decays a little. Moving a block via spatial IO or other means is completely safe. However, quartz buds that are not fully grown 
drop Ceres Quartz Dust, while Ceres Quartz Clusters drop Ceres Quartz Crystals. This right here, this OR word, is what really got me. I said, OR, huh? What does that mean? So, I grabbed us a contraption or a minecart and I went and got underneath those and boom flawless budding budding certus courts so we will be able to place these in the locations that we want one you know individually um, but for now we're gonna leave them right there and let them grow uh, because right now it's not activated so they are solid blocks they should grow certus courts for us just like that and then we can come out here and mine the certus courts this is not its permanent location this is temporary but we're gonna let them go ahead and start growing so follow the certus courts and start AE to follow guide so the next thing inside of the guide we have the we need to make our own service courts and we need to make charge service courts. So let's put a piece in there. Boom. Charged. Awesome. No reward for that though. Let's go ahead and make. Ooh, what's the difference? I wonder if there is a difference. Let's make the wrenches. And I wanna make I wanna make both because I wanna see. Does it? Oh, uh, I guess it doesn't matter. It's just one uses ones if you're rich in this, and the other is if you're rich in certain or in regular quartz, I guess. So let's just. We do have these items, so let's pop some of those in there. Okay, so little issue with the recording. Um. We decided that we're going to automate, even though it's going to be temporary until we get everything fully set up. We are going to automate this, and I decided that we will use Laser IO to do so. And Laser IO, the quest line starts here. You make your node and some cards. There is Laser IO School. I ran in here for a quick little run through but please feel free jump in here and look around you could do all kinds of crazy things with laser io as far as item rotting goes um and this is an actual tripling ores with mechanism isn't that beautiful so all we would have to do is turn it on and there it goes tripling ores with mechanism uh, quest locked. Oh, we need to come this way. Okay. So we got some of those things created. Item cards do not stack. There is a thing inside of Laser IO that you can place them in, though, and that is the card holder. So let's get one of those. And place them, and then they'll stack in there. But the stackable cards like filters and overclockers do not go in there. Oh, got a little bit of a uh, bud growing. So to automate our stuff here, what we're gonna do, we're going to need a chest and we'll put the flux point here. Uh, EBS you out and we are going to place the laser node right here so the way this is going to work oh and we will place a drawer right here there we go we want it to on the up we want it to uh Oops, what happened? On the up, we want it to pull an item. We want it to extract Certus Quartz. Extract. And 
we are going to put a filter in there of Certus Quartz. So, whoop, that goes to the up. On the down, we want it to insert and we'll keep that on the white channel. But on the down, we want it to extract. Let's change the channel to orange to filter out charge Certus Quartz. And that goes in the down. And then on the up, we'll put a orange channel as just just a blank insert we don't I don't think we need to filter it uh, and that goes in the up now once I place in a Certus Quartz here it should put it down there charge it and then put it up there oh it's locked and puts it up there there it goes and automated with one laser and I probably kind of overdid that. Probably just needed one insert and extract for each. But that works perfect. Or one filter for each. I think I filtered the down and the up on the extract. But only the extract on the charged one. So anyway, we have that automated now. So going back to Applied Energistics, uh, there is a beginner's guide. Let's go ahead and get that crafted up right quick. So we need a book request and a service courts, which we do have. And that gives us the guide. So completed that quest. The guide is not 100% reliable that's why we have the quest all right so i silk touched all the mysterious cubes and i'm hoping that within them we will be able to if i get this and i unsilk touch the mysterious cube we should get a we should oh wow we got all the presses or yeah oh that's pretty cool one cube, all the presses, I reward not so mysterious cube. Okay, so what's inside of this one? Okay, so it's a not so mysterious cube that does not have anything in it. Okay, it's a decorative block maybe. Let's get our inscribers made. So that's gonna be require some pistons and slime. And it looks like I'm gonna to need to come up with a good source of slime all right for these inscribers we obviously have four presses here but we're going to need five at least inscribers all right we do need to get our flux crystals and remember it is redstone charged and nether quartz dropped in so let's do that. We got 14 of those with us. Those are in a, woo. Give us 28, beautiful. So now that we have that, we also get a flux pick. We're just gonna go ahead and throw that in there. And we have our inscribers, um, basically impossible without okay to that's to accelerate the growth of those budding crystals up there it would appear there's only one way to get certus quartz in this pack and that is with certus quartz dust so let's grab us some dust right quick because we're gonna need a bunch of silicone oh that's gonna be that's gonna be rough I usually rely on other ways to get silicone, like sand and whatnot. Blasting bolt. Certus quartz dust. Is anything going to multiply it? Nothing seems to be multiplying certus quartz dust. That is a huge bummer. 
I know we have. There's one right there. Aha. All right. We're going to throw a hopper on top of there. Throw a chest right there. A hopper there. And throw in. There we go. Embrace the grind. How have we not grinded anything before? That's. That's interesting. Okay. Well, anyways, we're going to let that grit get ground down. So, as we said, silicone needs to be smelted. So, we're going to add that to our whitelist here. Throw in some of this Sirs Quartz dust and let it smelt away. And now we have silicone. And I'll have to do that quite a bit manually. Probably going to be doing some manual farming off camera again for plenty of that. So we take that along with some, we need some energy pipes. Let's grab, let's see, at mechanism. Uh, is that energy? Yeah. Universal cable. No, uh, we need energy. Which, which one is the green cosmic? Cosmic infinite. What? Transporter. Oh, maybe those are. That is. That is what we need. So let's grab a few of those. They do require still, so do we, we don't want to make too many just yet, but we will be making lots of them eventually. Let's bring these over here. Throw down our inscribers. One, two, three, four, five. We'll put the silicone in this one, and it's only going to do one at a time. We'll put logic in here, which takes gold. We'll put calculation, which takes Sirs Quartz Crystal. And calculation, which takes diamond. And then for each one of those is going to need a silicone. So let me get four silicone smelted up. All right, we've got the four silicone and we've got printed of each one of these. So we'll throw in. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Yes, silicone, redstone. Oh, silicone, oops. Uh -huh. We need redstone. All right, and there it goes. And it will make that item. So that is the three logic presses. We needed a an engineering one for the quest of me, 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 make me controller. So let's go do that right quick. And well, the engineering process is already in there. So there we go. Me controller done. All right, next up is change the channel, learn about channels. And in order to complete this chapter, we have to actually visit the, yes, the school on how to do channels. All right, one of the biggest hurdles is channels. 32 per side, 16 per cable, eight or eight for these small ones it looks like. And so there you go. You come over here and then it's 32 for the big ones. And then you can also, you know, branch off of those with the smaller ones. And on a normal network, the only consequences of running out of channels is that the excessive devices simply don't work. The rest of the channels function as normal. We're going to need to make some cable, which requires quartz fiber. So we need three of those. Let me go get some more ground up. There we go. And we're just going to make 12 of them. Is that going to be enough? It is enough. Oh, and they give us 16. And 
and we get some more charged quartz fixtures make them any color yes we can color them but we're not going to and smart cables that's where we really want to be so over here smart cable it's just the same thing but with wool or not the same thing with it is just the item and with wool we are running low on that time to fix that soon all right and from there we can turn that into smart cable we can turn the smart turn that into the smart cable and that's a recipe that is also having a problem this is why i can't wait for applied energistics to be up and running um redstone glowstone not all mods are created equally i love the system i love that it's easy to get going but there are prices to pay for that so we have our smart cable all right now we need to get us a terminal which is going to require a logic processor two logic processors all right we want a me crafting table which requires a crafting i mean an me crafting terminal but that requires a terminal itself so we come down here that terminal is going to require these items so let me get everything made up and that is going to get us some terminals we're going to go ahead and create two terminals we only need one for now but we will need more and the crafting terminal is the terminal processor and crafting table i don't know why i requested two. Oh, there we go and crafting terminal next up we're going to build a drive so let me go grab two engineering processors which are diamonds all right so let's go ahead and put in a request for our drive we're going to hit alt and i'll just put things in there manually like that we're only going to make one drive for now We've got the drive. Now we need a storage component request. And I'll have to do manual for that. And that turns into one of these item storages. So that's a 1K item storage. Holy, and they give us 54. Ha! You know we're gonna upgrade those then because we just need to make some calculation processors all right so let's go ahead and we will upgrade these to do that hold is it shift control come on we need 18 of them Might have went a little far. 11, 12. We need 18 of those total, I believe. And then from there, we're gonna go to 16, 16K. So request 16 of those. that's six total hopefully we have enough of that glass because we are out of the quartz beautiful we can get all six of those and then those six oh we can get to two right because that goes up to 64 and you need three so we can get two of those all right will that get it for us yes it does and it gets us two 64 k's and we would need three to go up to the next level so we are stopping there 
we will place those inside of cells all right now that we have enough iron we have 264 k's beautiful now here's the thing it is it's time to set this up almost almost we need external storage all right now that we have those items and request there we go we have emmy interfaces we're going to need two of them because we're going to need to turn them into these emmy storage buses so an emmy storage bus hear this out emmy storage but yeah well we want the interface and pistons we need two of those and two of those and that gets us our storage bus all right so we're gonna take this oh i believe it's the pretty pipes one is gonna go away and let's see here how we're gonna do this let's remove the storage scanner for now pretty pipes Oop. oops making a mess okay so we're going to place our crafting terminal oop forgot I have an elevator there we're going to pl place the crafting terminal right there. That's where we want that. And we're actually going to make place the storage bus right there. So when we open this, we should see everything in the drawers. That's an illuminated panel. Where's my crafty turn? There it is. So cable and crafty. See everything inside the drawers. Yes. Terminal tall centered oh there we go that's a i think that's the best we're gonna get full height terminal yep full height terminal beautiful so now we can see things inside there we are going to go ahead and place down our drive here place in those 264s and the 11 k that we have and now all this other stuff should go inside there we need to put our plug back on this thing but essentially everything is now going to get stored inside of the drawers first I need to make that a priority so storage bus priority we're gonna set that to a thousand so now all I have to do is come down here to all the chest like this and I'm gonna grab all let me put these where they belong I come down to these chest and I'm gonna have to keep running up and down to place things inside of the storage I'm not gonna make you watch me do that that would be horrible it's not gonna be fun it's gonna take forever so we have applied energistics finally finally so until next time this is elderberry syrup wishing you a wonderful day take care <laughs>